If you can, said Jesus, everything is possible for one who believes. Mark chapter 9 verses 23. Hello beautiful family. Warmest welcome back again to the Lovey Stats channel. Thank you so much family for coming back. This mouth watering palava sauce is on the menu. Kind courtesy of Prajo, one of our family friends who came to visit us. He wanted nothing but this deliciousness. So family, stay tuned and let's do this together. I have some fresh spinach but if you can lay your hands on fresh cocoyam leaves that will be perfect <laughs> and here I have my egusi or melon seed so I have some onions fresh ginger garlic and fresh tomatoes as well and for my proteins that I'll be using in this sauce I will be having some macro in tomato sauce also had some pre-boiled cow skin and cow stomach rete <laughs> and this is some beef broth and for this sauce I also love to have some mushrooms in there I have some salted tilapia or kobe and some palm oil and salt here are some shrimp seasoning my stinky fish or momone and some peppers okay that is all i will list everything down below in the description box as well so to begin with i like to chop all the vegetables that need to be chopped and also grind all those that need to be grinded For traditional sauces and stews like this, I always love to cut the tomatoes like this instead of blending them. And I always love to also take out the seeds because for me, it makes the process very, very easy and it cooks really, really fast. Also done and dusted, I'm now going to cut or chop my spinach okay and for the spinach you just want to cut off the ends like this because you do not want to have them in a stew it does not look pretty at all okay just cut them throw them somewhere <laughs> And I also tried to chop it exactly like how you would chop your cochlear leaves like this look <laughs> it was looking exactly the same I was so pleased with this after I'm done chopping the spinach I'll go ahead and use my earthing bowl to grind you know roughly my peppers and ginger garlic and the tomato seeds as well And this is exactly how I want the texture to be, all right? So once that is done, I'll go ahead and use my blender respectfully, respectfully to blend my melon seed or a goosey. Back home, we call these akatwa in my language as well. So I added about a teaspoon of salt. It's really nice to have a little bit of chunk in your stew. My grandma always did this and she always added a bit of salt and that helps right <laughs> so that is what i did every single prep is out of the way now and we're finally about to start our stew and in my pot i added my palm oil yes you can use any type of oil that you prefer okay i added my stinky fish or momone it really brings out the aroma that you need to have in your palava sauce the stinky fish and the palm oil are well infused together i will then introduce my chopped onions i love lots of onions here smells so good already oh so frying the onions for about three minutes i'll then introduce my pepper mix here contains the garlic ginger a little bit of the tomato seed and the habanero pepper as well mm. <laughs> i think you can perceive the aroma right <laughs> i'll also fry that for about 
two to three minutes and then introduce my dice tomato i'll fry that for about two minutes as well and then add my beef stock and also the mushrooms and i'll just cover it for about 10 minutes make sure that all these infusion together are getting to know each other very well <laughs> so good fam In the waiting time i'll go ahead and wash the spinach for the second time here i sprinkle a little bit of salt just to make sure that it is well clean okay the spinach has been neatly washed i'll go ahead and steam it for about five minutes i prefer to steam instead of boiling it in the water because i think that it loses lots of nutrients once it is dipped in this hot water okay i just love to have the nutrients in the stew instead so that is by the way i'll go ahead and check this sauce and see how it's doing and then introduce all the proteins that i will be having in this stew those mackerel were looking so good and tempting <laughs> Who else love mackerel? Hands up. <laughs> so I go in with everything now and then cover it for it to simmer for about 15 minutes. Okay. 15 minutes later, then introduce your shrimp seasoning and then add the egusi at this stage. That simple family. <laughs> and I always also want to advise that if you want to ever add salt, you should wait to the very last end before you start to add the salt. Just because everything that has been here in the stew has a little bit of salt in each of them. Okay. So please, please be mindful of that. All right. So I love some chunks in there. That is why I added those thicker ones. But if you do not mind, just add a little bit of water as i did at the last end and they will be just fine <laughs> and it's very very important to make sure that the egusi is well cooked i cooked this for about 25 minutes before adding the spinach because once the spinach comes in then your stew is almost done okay make sure you come and check up on it every five to ten minutes and it should be on low medium heat just so that you do not burn the button of your pot all right who wants that anyways <laughs> so right now my steamed spinach are doing so well it's not time for me to introduce to the very well cooked <laughs> stew once it gets here everything is almost done just look how good it is looking already it is almost done as the spinach was already steamed you just don't have to overcook this at all what you have to do is to make sure that the heat is completely low allow it to simmer for three minutes and you are good to go i just also sprinkle a little bit of my paposhito for extra extra heat for anyone who loves it so good not only that it is very very nutritious as well as i received the call that our guest is on the way i just want to head straight to boil our yam and yes we'll be pairing this with yam you can also pair this with rice a bar you name it there's a lot of things that you can do with this too one that cannot have a goosey like me i was really really sad <laughs> I really completely fell flat for this. It was so, so good. Looks absolutely delicious. I had two tablespoons pain in my mouth. I wanted to have more, but I just couldn't do so. So yes, family, all that you have to do is serve and enjoy. Yes, Brajo and Hobby really, really enjoyed this so, so much. The family, I really hope you enjoyed this process and you are going to give this a try. And please do not forget to share to a few friends and family. Also, if you did enjoy the process, please kindly give this video a like and comment down below. Let me know what you think about this recipe, all right? And if this is your first time here, hello, my name is Lovia from Lovey Statch. My main goal here is to cheer you up into making your own delicious meal right at the comfort of your home. I also love to share kitchen-related motivational videos. So please 
come on board subscribe <laughs> and join the family for amazing new recipes every week thank you so very much family for watching once again and just know that you are so beautiful just the way you are see you in my next one 